Hey guys, Mike here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to handle when you're surrounded, but you have a shitload of pressure when you're surrounded. So pretty much, here's my army here. I got Fram standing here. I got these heroes threatening me immediately. I got these heroes. I got Linden here, who unfortunately I'm going to have to kill him because I don't have Ivy and Hortensia, but oh well, it's all right. Uh, we have these flyers coming in as reinforcements. I think these flyers are coming in too. These guys aren't aggro, they're just sitting here, so they're all right. So we're essentially threatened immediately on the next enemy phase by the, these flyers and these heroes. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to handle being surrounded like this. So if you watched my previous video on being surrounded, the number one priority and objective for you when you're surrounded is to not be surrounded. So what I want to, what I'm trying to accomplish on this player phase is to secure my butt so that I can prepare my front line for, you know, the, the other flank that's going to be attacked. So how I'm going to do this is I'm going to try to kill all these flyers on this turn because the flyers don't, don't, don't care. They can just, they have six move and they can just go around and, you know, cause all, all sorts of havoc. So I don't, I don't want these flyers here basically. So, and I, I don't really care about these heroes right now. All right, so let's see if I can do this. Anna, my bow person is all the way over here. So what we can do is, you know, we have a lot of tools at our disposals. You know, it looks bad, but uh, we don't panic, right? Uh, so how I do this is, let's do something like this. I mean, this is the farthest she can move, so. And I could use one more bow here. I'm at 100%. With what's her name? Okay. Break this axe. Okay, these two bows will, should be able to take out two flyers. B, C. Again, we really don't care about these guys. So we're just going to... All these people are just going to run away. And they should be able to outrun these units because they're footlocked. And even though we're footlocked on some of our units, we have like two spaces, three spaces distance between, between them. So they can never catch up if we try to run away. Uh, let's do this. I'll go first. Not done yet. Yeah, yeah. So one thing I'm trying to keep in mind while I'm still attacking these units is I want to make sure my army is within this nucleus or this, this consolidated area here. I don't want my units still getting spread out because on the next enemy phase and the next player phase, I'm going to have to flex back and support these guys, right? So I don't want to like, for example, put a unit here above these these griffins if I can't help it because that's just going to spread everyone out unnecessarily right so let's see hmm probably overthinking a little but let's just go here go silver blade here we don't miss here Nice. And guided by the emblems. All right. We can actually have Citrine shoot this cannon. Probably take some out. You can take this guy out. Although I'm not a fan of this mage here, he's probably gonna take Jade out. So. I'm going to have to retreat Jade. The question is, will these guys be able to attack? So one, two, three, four, five, one. No, they will not actually. So that's actually pretty nice. I can actually shoot this guy. 
make sure I'm calculating that right. This is an armor slayer two. One, two, three, four, five, one. So this diagonal is unsafe. And you you really should get in the habit of counting manually because once I move Jade, like the purple area or the danger zone won't be shown, right? Until I actually move. Until I actually move these units away. So that's why you should count ma manually. And additionally, it doesn't help that these cannons are here, which are overinflating their actual range. So that's why counting manually is very important. And you should practice doing it. Uh, all right, so I really want to shoot this guy. And then this will, and then we'll count manually. One, two, three, four, five, one. So she'll be safe. We have Thoron mages. Three, four, five. Sorry, three, four, five, one, two, three. They should be safe. Let's, let's do it. We still have Astro Swarm to take out Linden as well. Alright. Actually, we actually could save our Core Dance if we take these two guys out this turn with the rest of our units. I think we can do it. Got one here. As an axe. A little bit risky. We have a dance. We could dance and a backup, actually. Yeah, so we actually don't have to waste our four dance. And again, I... Okay, let's do... Anna might be a little sketch on her hit, to be honest. 137. I have Clan take this guy out. He's a mage. Now, if I wanted to be reliable, I would actually just use Lin here because, or Lapis and Lin because her hit is incredibly high right now. But I want to take a chance here and go for Anna. Making sure this guy's not a two range. Okay, good. Good misses. Okay, it's all right. Okay, what we could do is we could punch him to death here. I'll go first. This should do it. My friend, friend is crazy. I gave her the um, the flashing fist art, and by the way, this art is super incredibly cheap to upgrade. Like, it only costs iron and steel to upgrade it substantially, and it's just so strong, <laughs> unfortunately, for the enemies. All right, count this one more time: one, two, three, four, five. Okay, I think I counted that wrong: one, two, three, four, five, one. Okay. That's unfortunate. So, we gotta be careful of these guys. One, two, three, four, five, one. Okay, all the way back here. And then we'll just heal up. Then we'll flex back. Three, four, five, one. Oh, that's enough. That looks pretty good to me. We're all consolidated here. Everyone can support each other. And these guys will move in range next turn. And everybody's not too far. Like I didn't overextend um, up here so that my units would be out of position and they, for some reason they couldn't cover in any direction. Everybody has options on the next player phase. So let's see how this enemy phase goes out. Should not be taking any hits here. All right, perfect. 
All right, those look pretty good to me. So hope you enjoyed that video and learned something. And thanks for watching.